Hi guys, Tracy here from ACR Technology. I'm here with Brittany. Hey everyone. And uh, we're gonna show you the new helicopter tug and how it operates. Uh, Brittany is gonna kind of show you uh, how easy it is. She's gonna do the loading, unloading, and moving. And uh, I'm gonna show you some of the more technical stuff. So uh, I'm gonna hand it over to Brittany. She's gonna kind of tell you what she's gonna be doing. Yeah, so we're here today at Chino Airport and we are going to show you our new T1 H2 helicopter tug on this gazelle. This gazelle is um, at about 3,000 pounds right now, and this tug is capable of towing up to 4,500 pounds. Good. Yeah. So we're going to get right into it and show you uh, how everything works. All right, so now we're going to show you how to load the helicopter. You'll want to make sure that your tug and your remote are on. You'll want to also make sure that your toggle switch is in the up position where we're going to load and unload. So then we'll go ahead and we'll make sure that we are center with the skids. So you'll want to center the cradles. The rolling parts of the tug are called cradles. So we'll want to center it. And um, if you can see, we actually have our bag in the back. So we want to make sure that our tail is protected once we go ahead and get this thing loaded up. So I see that I'm centered here on both skids. So now we'll go ahead and ease our way up. Now I'm going to probably go back and forth making sure that our skids are not going to interfere with those black rollers that you see there. Make a little adjustments if you need to. And we're going to be watching our tail end because it'll be coming down soon. Oh, it already did. So we're good there. Tail's protected. I need to make an adjustment over here. Alrighty. So we're loaded up good. Now Tracy will go ahead and talk about the center gravity. Okay, one thing I want to point out after you've loaded it, before you stop loading, you want to make sure that the CG of the helicopter is uh, properly positioned over the tug. So the CG of the helicopter is approximately right down the center of the rotor. So if you follow that straight down, you want to be a good amount in front of the tug, uh, of the cradle of the tug, and actually the center of the cradle of the tug. So you want to be a good amount in front of that. If you're not, as you're towing along, your tail might have a tendency to want to fall down. The whole helicopter might want to kind of pitch up. So make sure that your CG's a pretty good amount in front, but you've got to be careful. If you take the CG too far, your skids will come off of the, the cradle as well going that way, and you don't want that either. That's another problem you don't, don't want to have to, to, to uh, hassle with because it definitely will be a hassle to get it back on there. So CG in front, skids still on the rollers. So we're gonna go ahead and move the helicopter out of the hangar. Um, we have it loaded up now. We have our switch down in the down position. What we're gonna do is just take extra caution and make sure that those rollers are not engaged still. So you don't wanna just um, run out of the helicopter super fast. Just take a little caution before you start moving quickly. I do have the switch in the highest um, speed, which um, that's the best way you probably want to tow. Um, even though it's in the highest speed, we're not going to go super fast. We can still go proportional speed, so we'll be going slow. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move out, making sure we're not hitting anything else in the hangar. What's pretty cool is that we're able to see everything with our, our tug. So um, I have here that our rollers are stationary. Now we'll just watch everything in this hangar. Still pulling it out of the hangar here. Okay, so 
Still watching my back end, my tail, making sure I'm not hitting anything. Gonna have a rotor go right over my head. We're pretty clear out of the hangar now. I'm gonna pull the helicopter out here, not try to be in the taxiway. Um, when you're when you're towing, you'll want to keep an eye on the tail. Make sure uh, you're clear of your friends, your family. Because if you can see, it's, the back end kind of swings around pretty quick. So if someone's not paying attention, you might hurt them. Um, so I'm able to walk around the whole helicopter right now if I want to, making sure we're clear of everything. But I know we're clear right now. Um, this tug is fully charged so if I wanted to I can actually take it about a half a mile on the full charge um, that's pretty much how far you'll want to go if you want to go any further uh, you'll probably want to have some extra batteries sitting aside charging we have a um, extra battery connector connection so that you can actually have them charging in your hangar at home um, they don't always have to be in the tug we have um, adapters for that and so if you can see here um, however which way we want to take off we can actually just turn it however which way we want so I mean I can just turn it around really quick if I want to take off from this way um, and another thing to mention when you're towing um, keep an eye on the tracks we want to make sure they're both engaged um, if you're going a little slow um, there's a chance that one side might not be spinning because the other side is giving it more of the power so you always want to have them both spinning so that it's not wearing and tearing the tracks. Um, right now we're spinning on both, so we're, we're good. But as you can see, we're using this thing. I mean, we can turn it any which way within seconds. Within minutes, you're out of your hangar. So it's pretty cool. Watch the tail. Kind of like a carousel. Or it's kind of like it's sitting on a carousel. Pretty awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move it back into the hangar. We'll make sure our switch is here at the bottom, uh, which is our moving um, position. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back and we're going to make sure that we're pretty much center with where we're gonna store it back in the hangar. Um, we don't wanna, we wanna minimize all the movement that's needed when we get into the hangar because we don't want the tail to be swinging around. Um, like I said, it moves pretty quickly and it could be easily, uh, it could easily hit something. We're pretty much, I mean, right where we want to be. And just go back. Making sure to not hit anything on the way in. And watch the blades and the tail. Looks like we're pretty clear. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to unload the helicopter from the tug. First, you'll want to make sure that the toggle switch here is in the highest position, which is the load and unload mode. So now we're going to back out and make sure that our rollers are moving here. And I see them moving on that end. And they're moving on this end. We'll watch the tail, make sure that our bag is in the back there, which I'm a little late on that, but I knew my bag was sitting there, so always make sure the tail is protected. We'll keep on going out straight, making sure that none of the skid is hitting the rollers on the tug. We'll ease out here, you don't want to go too fast. And there we are. 
Okay, one of the questions I get a lot is, can you leave the helicopter on the tug once you've pulled it in, and can you just leave it on there indefinitely? And the answer is yes, you can leave it on there. One thing you wanna make sure that you do, though, if you leave it on, is pull an extension cord over and plug in both sides so that they charge. Now there's a charger on this side, charger for this side, and a port to plug into on this side, and there's one on the other side as well. And then you also wanna plug in the radio charger and get it charging as well. So it's nice to have them all together. I don't have the radio charger right here on this side, but you plug that in as well, and then uh, you're, you're good to go. You can leave the helicopter on there, no problem. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we uh, covered, I think, most everything, uh, just the basics. So uh, yeah, uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it yeah, on the screen up. and uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we appreciate you all watching. And I think that's it. Brittany, am I, do you have um, anything else to say? Yeah, I mean, if you have any comments or questions about the tug, we always get notifications letting us know that you commented on our YouTube. So just go ahead and, and uh, message there or reach out to us. Um, you'll also want to probably check out a few other videos that we have coming up um, on certain accessories and different um, types of helicopters that you can use with our tug. So. Um, they'll be up shortly after this video, so just keep an eye on our YouTube. All right, good. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.